Welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch. We're just going fishing. Yeah. So let's get fishing. I'm going to be honest, um, I like... I feel like this is probably the part of the game where it stops being the part of the game that I really enjoy. Oh, I like that curve to the clouds. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, I like the part where we're just kind of bumming around in the woods exploring and maybe chasing off some rowdy teenagers. And now that we've done a lot of time skipping, and I feel like plot is probably going to start happening. Ugh, plot during a hip story-based game. How dare they? I know. God dang it. Stomp out that fire again. Just to make sure. There's some more overgrown trail there, too. Yeah, I don't think this is... No, that is something. Yeah. Is this like... Oh, it's that's just, just kind a of a shortcut. shortcut. Yeah, so we don't have to go all the way around. Maybe one day... Well, there are fire crews in the area, and they do have a lot of axes. Maybe we can just ask them to cut down the trail for us. I wonder where that fire was. It's south of us, isn't it? Like, I'm gonna have to go see if I can't. Surprised he didn't mark that on his map. Ah! Take out a big red marker. <laughs> and we've never been down here to Cottonwood Creek. I wanna go down there. Yeah, maybe we'll go down there. Um, doesn't... Okay, so it looks like we got a couple places to explore. We got that, and then we got, um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow and Thoroughfare Basin. Left. I don't know if we can get to the basin. Yeah, I don't see any good paths to get there, unless there's, like, a cave or something. Unless you can get through Wapiti... Through, through Wapiti Meadow. Yeah, everything else looks reasonable to get to, though. Unless you can somehow make it across Jonesy Lake and go all the way around up top. Heck, it looks like I could get down here right now if I wanted to. The Ruby River? Yeah. yeah. You probably could. You'd have to climb back up, though, so... I just put that map away and that leaf flew by. <laughs> kind of I was like, is that my map? Is that a clipboard? Stop making noise! There was a clipboard on that rock over there. Oh, there was? Oh, there was. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Fireworks. I don't <laughs> talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Uh, Wait, hold on. Something's out here. I think you should hold on to that clipboard. Yeah. Henry, I'm worried. Telling me! You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Strange Regardless, noise towards let camp. Me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> Strange noise towards canyon, so... It's probably up that ways away. Nor yeah, northeast, so it's this way. What's that on the ground? Call radio. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. Who leaves a radio out here? That's a lot. Oh. oh! Son of a... Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? It felt like a I shovel. Don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? 
Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. <laughs> I mean, maybe. This just this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. I mean, I just got attacked. Yeah, I just got cold cocked by somebody and hoping everything goes fine. Okay, so we're going the right way. I actually screw it out Wapiti Meadow for Wapiti Station. He's convinced. I'm going the oh, right way. Oh, you're going, oh, you're going south. Way. You're supposed to go north. I was going the right way the first time, and then I turned around. <laughs> you turned around and saw the lake, and I was like, but I still gotta get that damn fish. Look, I'm still hungry, okay? Uh, just because I got a cold clock doesn't mean I'm not hungry for something. Like, it's hard not to think something's going on. Worst case scenario, this is really <laughs> friggin' creepy, and I still kinda don't want to be here anymore. Nature's weird. Can I, like, punch it or something? Where's a- I need a pine cone I can throw at it. Take a picture of it so everybody can believe you. No, dude, there was these rocks lined up here. You wouldn't- you wouldn't believe it. Gotta make it look right. I kept seeing those particle effects when we were coming through the woods, and my first thought was like, Barry would be dead out here. <laughs> it's like, you guys can never go camping. And you're like, let's go camping, Barry. No. Why not? Nature. <laughs> What's wrong with nature? Everything. I feel like what she would be the most terrified of is bees. That too. More than, more than anything else, bees. Who's not afraid of bees? I mean, I'll deal with a bee if I have to. I, I don't mean, like it. I mean, I'm. A little, I don't think anybody likes it. I'm at this point. I'm a little free. Ooh, damaged oh. tree. Oh, I can't chop oh, it down. Oh, it's claw marks. No, that looks like oh. axe marks. Maybe some firefighters were through here. Looks like somebody tried to chop wait, it wait, down, wait, but wait, didn't wait. quite get all the way. You can see the little thing says "chop down." Yeah. So maybe someday I will have the ability to chop down that tree. With my hands, <laughs> Minecraft has taught me much. So over the course of this adventure, we don't like get an axe or anything. We actually just like learn some martial arts or something. Ha <laughs> cha chong. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, also, what they have called it in? Yeah, you'd think they would have told us something oh, about it. Calling the fenced area as well. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll no, that's the next that. thing. 
Okay, I'm still willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, though. Like, oh, that's nice. I'm still willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're just out here doing something in a big area they needed to fence off so they could study something. Like, I don't know, maybe there was, um... S some new plant that kind of sp started spreading in the area a little or bit. they're observing the fauna of the area. Yeah, like, it's not just a small thing. They need to examine a whole area. But then who would cold cock you for that thing? Well, we don't know. That has to do wait, with wait, this. Wait, wait, Does it say, is U.S.? Oh, it just says, okay, 18 the U.S. US code. code, 1863. So, like, that's military stuff. That's... I'm willing to bet... Do it. Well, I want to report this gate first. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Yeah. Oh, time to shove the gate. Ow. Shove the gate. Keep shoving it. Do it more. It's more. not working. More! It's not working. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a rock. Told you you should have kept a rock. I did it! No, I didn't. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Just climb the fence. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can up dig top that out here until someone notices. Nope. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few oh, days ago that should let you hike to. right Man. to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Where's I told rock? you, you just go ask the firefighters. Man, and... I dropped the rock. Can I grab this rock? Yeah. I'm gonna go knock over those other rocks. <laughs> I told you, go ask the firefighters and have them dr have have you drag one around for the rest of the summer. <laughs> and every time you have a block a blocked area, you just go like. Break that and just peers out of nowhere and just takes it down like some kind of summon or an aid in the video. Well, game. No, now we're getting party members. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Turns into an RPG in the last hour. Yeah, halfway through, halfway through the game, completely changes genres. We start getting into like random fights with like wolves and crap out here to level up. Dang it! God, you suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... That is a sturdy rock! <laughs> it's well, fine, nature. I'm taking this rock with me any... Oh, I can't take it with it's me. It's nature super glued it. Wait, 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 what's that over there? Just a fallen tree. Oh, I thought you could climb up it for a second. I mean, that'd be neat, but... <laughs> That's like nature super glue there or something. <laughs> Somebody really wanted those rocks to go there. It's that guy that knocked us out. He came down this way next and was like, Okay, on the way, I'm going to glue these rocks in place just to distract him for a little bit. God damn it, why aren't these rocks doing it? He's been out here for three days. What it, the hell? Exactly as planned. Listen, Delilah, you don't understand. I have to break these rocks apart. Look, I just, now it's a matter of principle and the fact that I don't know why these rocks are so hardly stuck together. But anyway, now we actually get to go down to that one place you wanted to go. Yeah, so we got to work our way back to Two Forks. Oh, this is going to be a haul. Eh, not gonna too take, bad. Oh, we can take Thunder Canyon. Just go back this way a little bit. I'm going back the right way, right? I don't know. Where's north? Okay, north. Yeah, west a little bit. And then it should be... <sighs> No, it was east. It was east. It was east and it was this way. I'm entirely turned around. But yeah, we should be able to go down here to Thunder Canyon. That should make it a little bit quicker. Did you say left laser sword? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got a haul now. Uh, do you want to go back up to that raccoon? Uh, well, we can. Rest? Sure, that, that's kind of on the way. Because there's apparently a cash box up there that we didn't hit. Yeah, one not marked on the map or some such. Is that just, like, particle effects that just aren't rendering properly? Or is that, like, dust just cracking off the rocks or something? Looks like just kind of dust cracking off the rocks or blowing through the air. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for I found just, it. Just rocks farting <laughs> over here. <laughs> Why do you think they call it Thunder Canyon? 
Man, why all why all these rocks gotta fart? Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Oh, that's perfect. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That's not that strange? Sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Well, that sounds reasonable. And um, if it looked Whoa, like... Hold up, could you... Oh, okay, it was that thing was just popping up. I thought it was like, you are walking up, and I thought there was something you could almost call in, or... Yeah, I mean, that sounds reasonable. Maybe they got a hold of, like, an old Firewatch radio or something. Then it's kind of already on the frequency. Well, it said Wapiti Station, and there's a fenced-out area. Maybe there's just something behind the fence that's using similar radios. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's that rope that I tossed down. Yeah. So you always have that shortcut there, in case you need it for some reason. See, now this whole like thing... Like the guy coming right up behind ah, you. Ah, I'm running! <laughs> See, now this thing with Delilah's door being open actually makes me wonder. We don't know her whole story either. No, we don't. I don't know how she's not freaked out at her door being open in the middle of the night. Well, she said that's not normal, and I say we don't know her whole story. I think she said that's nothing. Well, she said it's not unusual. Yeah. You know what else is not unusual? To be loved. By anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she says it's not unusual, and that makes me wonder, because we don't know what else she's got going on up there. Um, there was that one time that she left the radio on while she was talking to somebody else. And we don't know if that was over radio, maybe they showed up in person, and she had to talk to him for a second. Like, she, maybe she's got something going on up she, there. Maybe somebody, like, maybe it's not unusual because, like, somebody came by to... Maybe, maybe somebody comes, stops by every now and then to check on her or something. Probably. Or maybe she just has other radios to call in. She has a phone line. There's the... Ah, there it is. ...thing was right in plain sight. She did have something about a phone line, so maybe she just needed to call it in. Oh, I hope this one... This one's old, so I hope it has the same... I mean, she did ask us to go out and check the phone line, so maybe she was just talking on somebody on the phone at that moment. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, if she thinks that if the door being open wasn't abnormal... No, oh, I can put it on. It's a Korea War hat. Keep the shade off my face. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep the sun off my face. Whatever. I don't know. Out in here, we should have gotten that ten months ago. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so, you... I, so I was just thinking, like, if it's not unusual for her door to be open like that, then maybe somebody came in, like, while she was sleeping and, like, to grab something. Like, maybe that's just something she's used to. Well, she'd also have to have another fire watcher or ranger nearby. So, like, I'm just thinking in that case, and maybe that has something to do with... Um, or maybe that. animals try to get in or something. Maybe. Friggin' raccoons. Help me, help me. Raccoons are, like, weirdly smart, though. But they're also really dumb. Well... There's really no other animal that's on our intelligence level, but they surprise us with human-like intelligence, in a way. Every so often, at camp, we'd show up in the morning and there'd be a raccoon stuck in one of the trash cans. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Couldn't get... like, dove in there for whatever reason and couldn't get out. I have a flashlight, don't yeah. I? Yeah, I do. okay. Well, for what it counts as a flashlight, I Hit guess. Hit F for flashlight. 
hit F to partially see in here. Yeah, and then, like, what is this noise? Because this is... I wonder if this has something to do with the other thing. Well, from what she said, it was just for, like, rock climbers and that's, whatnot. That's true, that's true. But the key's been lost for a few years, so... Key's gone, nobody can get in there. Time to go get an axe! I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. You think? I like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. His dad was there. Yeah. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> My brain was going somewhere, and I've completely lost where it was going. Was it Brian Bean in high school? No, it was before that. I uh, feel like, um, I mean, we were going to go get an axe. Then there was the whole Ned thing. Who are those notes from? Oh, it's Ron and Dave. Okay. Yeah. Those are from three years ago at this point. And Ned was, uh, Ned was military, too. Ned so was like, around when Ron and Dave were here. So. Yeah. But, like, Ned was military, though. He could have wrecked somebody. Oh, yeah, no. Like, you don't just... You don't just knock somebody out like that. I don't know. I could take a floorboard and just pop you in the back of the head, and you'd be out for a while. Well, I mean, yeah, if you don't see it coming. There's not a lot you can do about it. We made it back. We're home. What the hell is that? God dang it. Sucker punch. <laughs> They do have a little bit of electric. Oh, whoa, whoa. Back it up. Yeah, what did I hit? Oh, the fire plume. Oh. The flapjack fire. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, check your map, or check your compass at least. That line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Well, that's great. What check, am I checking? You check your compass. I want to see what direction it's pointed oh, it's at. South. South. So if you check your map. So it's like down. It's probably off the map. Yeah, it's down off the map. So there you go. It's south of us right now. Yeah, but I mean that's. I, I assume that's what they were talking about when they said they'd burn the line. Is once a fire gets that big, it's re. You can't really like put it out. So what you kind of do is you can start a counter fire. So the two fires move towards each other? It's the burn out all the fuel, so they don't really have anything else to go through. Yeah, and then, like, once the two fires hit each other, they, like, don't have anywhere to go. They've already burnt everything up, and there goes the fire. You're done. And then they look at each other and goes, like, let's join forces, brother. You got it. And then they spread out elsewhere. Dang it. Okay, so we're out here in the middle of nowhere. We're working our way down. What do you say... We had, I say we head down there next time, but I want to take a quick look out here the thoroughfare and see if we can trail. get down thoroughfare. Yeah, long, as long ahead. as we're in the way. It's not like a, it's not like this video is a complete waste. We did get cold clocked at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that's what like a lot of these videos have been though, is just walking around, and that's cool. That's nice. It's a nice. To, uh, it's a nice game to be walking around in. Yeah. I'm actually kind of sad there wasn't more walking around because, I don't know, it's just fun walking around and exploring well, and I chatting think, about stuff. I think once you beat the game, you do get a, like a free mode so you can just walk around the whole area. Well, I meant more for like the sake of videos. Oh. Like, I was kind of sad that there wasn't more walking around and just chatting about stupid crap. And instead, we're already starting up some plot. Okay, so at this point, we're pretty much going just straight east, and that should take us there. Like, this will go straight east for a little while, and then start curving north again, but we want to keep going east, even though this curves north. Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah! Beat game area? Oh, wait, what? This is how we got here. I think. 
Yeah, look at that map going. Abandon job and go home. <laughs> Game over. Wow, I didn't know that was one of the endings. I think it'd be real funny if we go this way and we saw some of the mark. We saw some of the things that we did in the intro. Like there's that one tree we walked over with the elk on the other side. Oh. Oh. Uh, whoa, Delilah, the trail I hiked in on, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. What is this, the Twilight Zone? It's starting to feel like it. Well, look, don't freak, okay? This happens. At the end of the summer, we just fly you out. Or, you know, if there's an emergency. I'm sensing an emergency. I can't call and ask for a $15,000 helicopter ride because there might be someone out here harassing us. Assaulting? Well, when you can. Okay? Okay, Henry. Well, there's your trail, buddy. Well, I can climb that. You're going to die in a rock <laughs> slide, you know that? I'm just gonna, it's gonna be real life Pokemon. I'm just gonna go like, whatever Pokemon I'm using, rock slide Naka. Ah! No, 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 look, no, no, really looking at it though. Like, for one, all the rocks are. Reasonably small, easy to get handholds on, easy to get up there. I would be concerned about the stability of it, since it just kind of fell into that location. They look pretty packed, but that doesn't tell you a lot. But what I can see, and this is kind of cheating because of game mechanics, is the right-hand side of this looks like these same really stupid solid rocks that would form the right-hand side of a path. I'd be willing to bet no matter what happens, those ain't moving. No, they wouldn't. They're too, they're stable at this point, so... So, like, the only place these rocks go if I climb over this is back down this path. And, like, whatever, man. That's just helping me. Almost. It's getting them out of my way. Oh, um... I guess one other thing I can kind of talk about real quick when, I as, I, as came... we get back to civilization. I was just gonna say real quick. I wonder if you came up here at another time when you're not paranoid thinking somebody's right behind you right now! <laughs> is that, uh, does he... Is the rock slide always there since you showed up? Yeah, I wonder if he just reacts differently to it if you see it at different times. Anyway, getting back to civilization. Yeah, on our way back to civilization. Um, well, really? Civilization. Really? Really? I couldn't just walk around that? <laughs> no. Um, I was just going to say, I've mentioned a couple times... What do you think this is, a walking simulator? <laughs> yeah, I've talked a couple times about uh, rock climbing, and I think I mentioned at one point that I could rock climb at a near professional level. Um, in college, they actually had a... Rock climbing gym. Yeah, I remember that. And I spent a monumental amount of time in that rock climbing gym because I just had a great, great, great deal of fun with it. And it was also a great way to get uh, get away from my inner demons. No, go away, college. Yeah, but um, they had the proper rock climbing wall, which I climbed a couple times. But just having to bug somebody to get tied up and have them belay you and get all that done, and I know how to belay somebody as well, so there's that. You had to learn how to belay somebody if you... Well, you didn't have to, but it was nice to do. I would say you'd have to at that point, but... Well, I mean, you have to learn how to belay somebody if you're going to belay somebody, and I just kind of did because I was in there a lot and helped people out. But I didn't actually climb the proper rock climbing wall very often because... there wasn't a lot of what I enjoyed in that wall. That The big wall was mostly about um, what's the word? Crap. Like, I, I want to say uh, tenacity. Mm. It w endurance. Oh, okay. that's the word I was looking for. Um, because like by the end you're just tired because you've been up there so long, getting all the way up there, and you kind of get better at that by getting by improving your endurance. Well, I'll continue this story uh, next time, I guess, since we're kind of at the end of the video. So, um, until next time, everybody, when we go check out that scout camp.